So by the Australians count, it's now 35 matches in a row to New Zealand. Aren't you guys getting even sick of this? Yes. Uh, we don't think about that. We just had to come over to it and get the points to stay in the fight um, back, stay on the table. So that was our whole drive. We know this is a dangerous team out there and at times they showed that. Um, and we worked really hard all week on our defence. And You seem to be playing the game... You look at your side, and, and one side looks to be playing appreciably faster than the other, uh, executing the skills better. Um, is that how you train? Is it, how, how does New Zealand sides generally um, look so much better than the Australian sides? Oh, we train hard. You know, we, we train under a pressure a lot. Um, you know, and I think in that first 30 minutes, we looked we looked pretty good. But again, uh, we dropped away to the standards that we wanted. And we've a lot of that is the Reds. They um, you know, they came back really well in that second half. That, um, <coughs> that final try, that's pretty crucial to go home with the bonus point. Well, it's crucial, yeah. yeah. Um, what does that mean for you guys to say at the end of the season? Yeah, I think every bonus point is is a special. To, it could give you a, a home advantage or an or not. So um, yeah, so to, for the boys to come back and, and get that, um, they've been working hard on that line out all week. We felt that was an opportunity with the Reds, the way they defended. And it was great that it uh, came off. <clears throat> he's all right, yeah. He's just pretty angry we dragged him, but he's a special player and we certainly take no risks with him. So, meanwhile, I gave Marty, his brother, some valuable game time. Did he fail a hat eh? No. No? No. You guys just stalled him? Still pulled him, yeah, because he was dazed. That's why he's grumpy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got a buy, so that'll help. Um, Colin, how tough is the uh, the Kiwi conference? Like you've had uh, the first five or six weeks with some very brutal matches and some, some terrific uh, local dogs. Oh, we just had a lot of injuries. You know, I think the media took it out of context really when I said we had a lot of injuries when we beaten up each other and jumped on the New Zealand derby bandwagon. They're all tough. The travel's tough. Every team's tough. Um, and if you come into thinking uh, one country is weaker than the other, you'll come second best. So we, you know, led by Charlie and, and Liam and, and Brody and Sam, we really drive hard of respecting the Reds and what they can do. Their one-off runners are, are great. So we had to defend really well and that's what makes me proud that we can step up and and make tackles like you saw. <clears throat> uh, when you look uh, from afar, I'm um, looking at what Brad Thorpe's doing in the Reds team. What, what do you see uh, as the stand Brad's put on the Reds team? Oh, a lot of physicality, a lot of... <clears throat> um, you know, they they, uh, they just need time. <clears throat> they need time under him. <clears throat> they need time to for him to get his group and his leaders ready. I'm, I'm pretty lucky. I've walked into the Chiefs um, where uh, I've got magnificent leaders. These boys will follow Charlie and Liam and Brody and Sam anywhere. And when, once you get that, um, you, you know, you've got a good chance of... Um, of, of beating a few teams. <clears throat> As a player, did it feel like a different red side tonight compared to previous years? Yeah, yeah, it did. Um, they they showed a lot more physical physicality in their in their carries. Uh, they broke a few tackles, um, but we managed to, to hold them off. But like uh, Colin Cooper said, uh, they're only going to get better um, under.